Ever since the Industrial Revolution in the 19th century, there have been many people who made their mark on British railways. And now on YouTube, one rail enthusiast from the Staffordshire town of Rugeley, who is passionate about the trains and making his own mark on the railways too, give his own opinions about the railways today, the history and the future and gives you a behind the scenes of how to get to their destinations to do what I love best, film trains. Good morning, welcome to another documentary. Today we're going to London, overlighting London, then coming back. The time now is 10.09 and that was the 10.10. Running late. See so where I got to reach each town and London Midlands already fucking us around. We're going to have Rooshie Town to Birmingham on the 10.10, which will be here at 10.20 now, in 10 minutes time. And we're going on the 11.50 to London Euston. Then after that we're going to Malibu for more than a few hours. And then we're coming back and then we're in London overnight. Then tomorrow we're going to Colchester, get um, a Britannia Pacific speeding through the station. I think it might be stopping actually, I'm not too sure. And we'll go back home tomorrow. And we'll just wait for that delay train now. Like I said, London Midlands has messed us around again. Typical. And we should be in London for just after one. On today's overnight journey, we meet up with Keith at Malibu. Boom, 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 it is East End Pub. And we're going up in smoke at Colchester.
dirty Ventura. As you can see now, we're at Burgundy Street, and it's off 1150 right here. Probably so, we're going to go to Coach B, where we get F. <laughs> Bit of a long walk. Approaching Maniboat Station, this is the Great Central Terminus. It was the last um, London Terminus built station, built in 1902. For the Great Central Railway, they got transferred into the NMS, I think. But now Chiltern Railway is running today, and we're going to be vegging here for a couple of hours.
Right there, we're at Rods of Malibu now on the Chilton Tourist Station of the Chilton Bay Line. And like I mentioned, where we went down Great Central Street or Road, that this was um, home to the Great Central Railway. This was built in 1902. And um, then it was came LMS, I think, and then BR, then Network South East, then Chilton. Is that what you were doing while I was flatting the buses? On the way up through that yeah. strip? Yeah, alright, okay. But um, we're here now to half past six. As you can tell, we have signed in. Don't do that. I'm not going to. Good. We're here to half six. Unfortunately, we have done things there uh, the right way. If it was me, I'd just come on this platform and start filming. We've got a travel pass, but um, I know there was an incident here, which I won't mention any days. <coughs> but um, to be honest, he was. He wasn't in the wrong. The children that jobs were security was, and if I see him, they're not start with me. So, I know we're here now till, like I said, half six, and we're going to wait for to see what units come through. We did get the high HTT today. Yay! I hope the West Coast Bay Line was going to be the first one, but no, here's the first one today that I've seen for this season.
Forever Hotel at the Forest Gate Hotel. And well, it's actually not a hotel. It's a pub. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, it's um, unfortunately it's our room. My, even my bedroom at home is bigger than this. It's the girls' bedroom is better than this. <laughs> but no, it's only for one night anyway, so... It's... It will do. Um, today Malibu has been good there. That Josworth did sh show up. He was trying to accuse us of filming. Well, we were, but... We just finally said, no, we weren't. We were only taking photos. And, well, he just buggered off after that. Kept on staring at us and then buggered off. Um, I don't know, it's been a good day. Um, tomorrow we'll be going to Colchester, well, we're going to Liverpool Street, then to Colchester, then back to Liverpool Street. And then we'll probably get a third rail race done, a couple of third rail races, which we won't spoil anything and all that. And then we'll go back home to Rugeley. I'm going to win. But um, this will do for tonight. And that's it really. Good night. Wondering why the hell third rail is on Simon Paul's British Railway journeys, but I can tell you why. Please subscribe to our channel, you will find a lot of races here. Good morning, welcome to the next day. This is Wednesday the 10th of October. Yeah, Wednesday the 10th of October. And you can see we have stepped well in this um, small environment. Well, you do. <laughs> and, um, well, it's 20 past 7, we're going to have some breakfast in a pub. I feel like bloody Phil Mitchell. You're bad. You're bad. You're bad. You're bad. Anyway, so we're gonna have breakfast and then go upstairs, get our stuff, gonna get out of forest gate as far as we can, and um, go back to Liverpool Street to get a class 90 local hall service to Colchester. It's about a 50 minute journey and it can drag. I've done it before because I went to Ipswich. You remember the Ipswich documentary? that one. And um, hopefully today we should get 70,000 Britannia, Britannia Pacific class and um, standard class 7. Now the last two rail tours we went all caped. So hopefully this one should not be caped today. So now we're just going to get some breakfast and then we're going to leave here.
we're now at uh, Blood of the Upper Street. As you can see, we're going to be on that train, the half night to Norwich. The class night in the back is 90008, which is called the East Angulan, which uh, is a rally because we're going for the rail tour today. That is called the Great Easter 150, which is Britannia, like I mentioned before. Just fight the Great Easter 150. The Great Easter 150, sorry. We're just fighting Coach C now because there are reserve seats on this train. And well, let's just hope the ride ain't as stalled as it was when we went to Ipswich.
Colchester Town, that, no, Colchester. <laughs> Not to be confused with Colchester Town, which is somewhere over there. And then... Um, that way. We've been here for a couple of hours. We've got Britannia on the 1 to 70 Liverpool Street to Norwich. I had an awesome departure filming. Oh, you will see it uh, before I speak, and it was one of the most best departures I ever filmed, in my opinion. I don't know if you agree or not, but that's me. It is pretty corky departure. Yeah. Okay, so um, we're here till half one, then we go back to London on the half past one, uh, which will be another class night in local hall set for DTV. Of course, you won't be um, 90 9 even though that would be you, Jack, although that's been hanging around here. That's, that's been gone. Been gone down in London at the moment. And um, it is an alright station. I think this side is best to film, in my opinion. We have been over there, but we're just called for the night to Norwich now. So, but still got a bit of time. So, um, we're just going to stay here to half one now. Lights have just changed and I see those. Ooh, bad night here. Lighty 004 is coming into Liverpool Street now. Is ended, the first rail races begin soon.
Ramadan. Just see the Indian train with both cross the same time. First class as well. Here yeah, is first class. That's our tra section. As you can see, we're on the first class. This is the 350116 and this is the 1829. By the way, making this. Nice when you just be caught on camera. Uh, I'm really kidding, I'm not going to be here till our train. Um, we'll be here till 1829 and we'll be back to Rishi on this train. Um, London has been a good day today and yesterday. We'll still rise it up when we get back to Rishi. You know, I think it's been so good, we should come back again. Oh, we'll come back again. I think we should come back Saturday. Let the bitches. Valley. Don't mind the horny school girls. Horny school girls? Where? They just go off the train and reach the train valley, loads of them and just walk over the footbridge. Wait for them to clear and start it. Um, well, we had our two days in London today, yesterday and today. It was good getting down there by Virgin. We went down to Birmingham, then Virgin trains to Houston. Stayed at Malibu. We did get, have that Jobsworth encounter, but we soon put him straight and he buggered off. Kids will give us the evils as well, but I did send a Facebook message that day saying, does anyone want me to kick, his, kick that job to the balls? To be honest, I really would love to, but it wasn't my intention. I was only put on Facebook to make me laugh and make other people laugh, even though no one finds it funny. But no, I should have kicked him in the nuts. I'll kick him in the nuts. <clears throat> 
unfortunately that's the same Jobsworth that had the Malibu problem if anyone heard about it or no one heard about it but no he did he should have not started with me because I was safe straight yes and um, then we went to Forest Gate walked through the streets of Forest Gate and Wanstead or whatever that they, it's E7 anyway because it was on a uh, road board this morning E7 okay and um, it did look a rough neighbourhood I know some people say it was a rough area but it didn't really then we found that our hotel was a pub he, hmm. he got he got pissed no I didn't he did I got pissed off that it was a pub hey uh, so um and the bedroom was so small and tiny I'm thinking god it was like a bed seat wall in a hotel mind you for 40 quid it, 45 quid it was like uh, it did for the night just did for the night then I went to have breakfast in the morning and by breakfast it's not breakfast is not recommended at a hotel to be honest Bobby and Bob cornflakes and some toast, yes. Well, they gave you one egg, a mini sausage, a rash of bacon, baked beans, I don't even like baked beans, and two slices of toast. Well, the slices of toast was even better than the full English itself. Put some butter and raspberry jam on, done. Done. I would have loved strawberry, but then I have raspberry. End on. So, breakfast is not recommended at the Forest Gate Hotel. It's not a recommended for a week stay as well, it's probably more like an overnight stay, in my opinion, but... In English, we ain't going back. Yeah. It's one of those places where you go back to the hotel. The Crystal Palace one that I went last year was better. It was about 40 quid, say, no, 30, 40 quid. Say, it was about price. 30 quid, wasn't it? Mm. I did even had an ensuite bathroom at the Forest Gate Hotel. You had to walk out your room just for the bathroom. Anyway, so, um, then we went to Liverpool Street, then we got our train to Colchester which we have saw Britannia, then we went back to Liverpool Street, then we did a few third rail races, then back to Euston, and now we're here. And that outer line there has gone green. That will probably be for a pendo, because there's usually a pendo following. Yeah, there's a pendo of 70 that comes through at this time of night. We'll see you in a bit anyway. Mm -hmm. But um, that's the full summary of this trip. We also met Chilton um, 67013 Malibu. Well, we kind of invited him actually. I know he was there too. And um, that is it really for this. That does sound like a 70. That sounds like a pendo actually. Oh well. Um, you can follow us on Facebook at Simon Trains and Simon Paul's British Railway Journeys. You can follow us on Twitter at, at Simon Trains. And. I'm right. Yeah, it's a pendo. And we leave you this pendolino. Good night.